Right before Thanksgiving, health officials were warning everyone to stay home for the holidays and limit fam family gatherings to avoid spreading the virus. Now we're learning Dr. Deborah Burks traveled out of state over Thanksgiving weekend with three generations of her family from two separate households, disregarding her own advice. Well, Kane is a co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend, and he joins us live here in Studio J this morning. Happy holidays to you. Well, good, good to morning. see you. Good morning. Merry Christmas. So is this just the latest round of hip hypocrisy? Rules for thee, not for me because she traveled to her home. She said she was going there to winterize it, I believe was her explanation. But still, members outside of her own household, three generations, two different families. Stunning, isn't it? It's stunning, though, not because of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy and politicians go hand in hand. That's coffee and donuts. Yes, we should be outraged about hypocrisy, but it's all too common, whether or not it's Gavin Newsom or Eric Garcetti or the mayor of Denver or the mayor of Austin. It's just all too common. What's stunning, Sandra, is what it reveals. I think it just reveals an absolute disdain for the average common American out there that they send messages to. Americans out there right now whose businesses are being shuttered, their livelihoods are being lost, they're saying goodbye to loved ones in the hospital without even able to go into the hospital. Think of the cost the average American is paying while the rule makers, the lecturers, the elites do not abide by these rules. I think what's stunning is the absolute disdain it shows for the American people. It's a, this is tough. And, and you, you've had a long list of Democratic lawmakers that have been accused of hypocrisy because so many of them laying down these really tough restrictions. But here's Dr. Burks uh, inside of the, obviously, the COVID team at the White House. And she very clearly laid out her own advice right before Thanksgiving. I'm just wondering, what are they thinking? People are exhausted from this. We're all trying to do the right thing. We're all trying to wear our masks, social distance, you know, only stay within our own household. But then they break their own advice while warning how dangerous this is. So, of course, I'm speculating. But here's my attempt to answer your question of what are they thinking? You and I spoke about this for a moment on Friday. I believe that the world is now being divided largely into elites versus the common man. And I think they see themselves in an elite status. And what comes along with that elite status is a special application of the rules. Now, here's how it really manifests, I think. They're smarter than us. Mm. They can make a risk calculation that we're not capable of Gov going Governor through. Newsom, as we remember, at French Laundry, right. not distant. You see, Sandra, I, I don't think it's that Newsom doesn't believe his own rules. I think it's that he believes he's smarter than me or you or everyone watching right now to make a risk calculation about whether or not he should be able to bend the rules. In short, that disdain I spoke about a moment ago is he thinks of himself as incredibly intelligent and capable of making a calculated risk analysis. But we, mm. we need to be led by the nose while we give up that stuff that's precious to us. Well, here's Dr. Burks in her own words. This is CBS Face the Nation. This is from November heading into Thanksgiving. Listen. You need to take it upon yourself to be restrictive. You need to not go to these places. You need to protect your family now. And really watch, if your family traveled, you have to assume that you were exposed and you mm -hmm. became infected and you really need to get tested in the next week. Steve Hilton says this, yet another elitist lockdown hypocrite. How dare these people, he writes, continue with their cruel, stupid, counterproductive lockdown rules when they don't obey them. We are absolutely sick of the lot of you, says Steve Hilton. So we sit here and wonder why the American people have lost trust in institutions. This institution, the media, mm. academic institutions, election integrity. Why are Americans so skeptical of what they are told from the elites? Why are they so skeptical of things that have lasted in this country for decades, institutions that we used to believe in? Why? I think we're having it laid out before us quite clearly. And I think it's very rational for the American people to go, you know, I don't know if everything they're telling me adds up. Yeah, and 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 I, I go back to, we're dealing with obviously a very serious situation. The pandemic is still very, very serious as it is right now. Spikes in many states that we're still dealing with as we try to roll out the vaccine. But when you have Dr. Burks saying this about limiting to just your household, you really wonder again what they're thinking. Here she is on CNN. I'm making the personal sacrifices. I like it to be, keep it to your immediate household. Because, you know, if you say it can be 10 and it's eight people from four different families, then that probably is not the same degree of safe as 10 people from your immediate household. But then she went on to ignore her own advice. She traveled to her second home with her... Um, Three generations yeah. of her family in that one home. It's and we're just, not saying that's wrong, right, Will? We're, we're saying that goes against 
the health officials guidance and recommendations that we're all trying to live by if we can what I, but she did differently what i think is we welcome their guidance and recommendations For we sure. reject their mandates mm -hmm. and then we embrace our own ability to be rational to be smart to make our risk calculations about whether or not we can visit our family or open our business whether or not we'll take protocols in into hand and apply them in our lives mm -hmm. we are smart enough we are not dumber than them mm -hmm. we do not need to defer to them as they break their own rules you know and that was of course Thanksgiving and heading into Thanksgiving and here we are Christmas is upon us it's coming up this Friday and a lot of American families are gonna have to make these really important decisions to keep themselves to keep their family members safe whether or not they decide to travel or not travel you've already seen the lines at the airport many are choosing to pack their bags and go and I for one trust the American people to make smart decisions about the safety of them their family and their businesses